Hello, I'm Scott with Challenge Photography, and I'm going to talk about modifying gear. When I wanted something that is not produced by that same manufacturer, I, I go and modify it to make it work with that manufacturer. So Godox released out the AR400. So this is the AR400. If you don't own one, this thing is a beast. It's very, very heavy. Again, you got to remember that everything is, the controls are all on this unit, plus the battery. This is very, very heavy when you're running around with a camera that weighs about almost seven pounds anyway, and then you want to add another five pounds onto it. That's just crazy. And to run around. Yes, it does have a quarter 20 spigot down here on the bottom. Now you can mount this onto a stand and then just set it up, run up there, put your lens through the hole and start taking pictures. It stays on the same parallax, same axis, everything. Um, but again, I do not find it a feasible product. Uh, so I had a gym buy unit that's been sitting probably for five years. I haven't used it. And instead of pulling out the Pro Photo, um, the 2400 watt second flash, sometimes I want something that, again, it's compatible with Godox. So I took the ring flash from it. So this is the ring flash here. And it is not compatible with Godox, all because of the end of the cable. So what I did was desoldered the cable from this unit and let me grab down here at the bottom and took a remote head uh, for the 600 or extension head whatever you want to call it and desoldered the wires from it checked my resistance checked my uh, consistency of I, I hate getting into all this other stuff just wired desoldered from here and resoldered the cable to here. Again, you want to have a basic understanding of wiring and how it goes together before you attempt this because right now the warranty for this unit is voided because I've already modified it and already changed it up. The remote head is voided because I desoldered it and took off the plug. When I plug this into the 600, the 600 is warranty is voided due to the fact that I am plugging a unit that was not made by Godox into their system. Again, the only warranty what they make or what they produce. So when I modify something, I, I know I'm gonna void that warranty right off the bat. Again, it's in the descriptions. It's in the everything before you buy the product. So don't go out and start modifying things and think that the manufacturer or the seller that you bought it from is going to warranty that product. But again, having this, I don't need to hang on to this plug anymore. Um, having this versus this. This weighs about six times, well, probably more than six times than what this does. This this weighs almost, this is probably less than a pound right here. So um, this is a lot easier for me to handle on my camera than this. It'd be nice if Godox actually built a ring flash for the 600 attachment. That would be fantastic, that would be great. Because then other photographers, again, when you go on location, you want a simple fill light. Or you can actually use this as a main light. But I use this more as a fill light due to the fact that I don't have to set up two stands, set up two modifiers. Have this on the camera, doing the fill. The Colt 45 overhead as the main, good to go, out on location, quick and easy. And then if I want to go into somewhere small, I can throw the 600 into the bag, put this on my camera, and go into places where 
a stand won't mount or I can't put a stand or whatever and use this as my main. Again, this is going to give you that high fashion look. A lot of people like that look. I don't like a straight ring light just by itself. Just because of the way, I mean, it's it's just flat shadows. There's, well, there's really hardly any shadows because, again, it's a ring light. But again, it would be nice if Godox implemented something like this into their gear. Because again, they put out a bunch of stuff, and that's a lot of stuff that I would never use. But the stuff that I would like to use, they don't offer. Again, once you modify something, you have voided your warranty. In the description, you want to make sure that you know that you void your warranty when you start modifying things. Again, don't go back to the seller after you know that you broke something or you damaged something that was not within the realm or specs of that product and expect a refund or a warranty on it. I see a lot of people do that all the time. They read the description and all of a sudden they get it. They know it was too small, but they tried stretching it thinking that it would fit and then all of a sudden they broke it. Then they send it back to the, the place, they get their refund and they don't understand that yes you got a refund but it affects all of us down the line somewhere because i knew there was an item that was only five dollars on amazon and now it's instead of being five dollars for all the returns and people saying well it broke and they even made videos and they even talked about it in their their reviews that they used it out of the out of the scope or description of that item and I don't see how they would get a refund for that because again that it's and then now I we have to pay for it later because now what used to be five dollars is now twenty dollars <throat> again it'd be nice if Godox would implement a 600 or a ring flash now this is a 600 ring flash by Jim Bai, and the 600 is not a true 600 watt second strobe so therefore, I know I'm underpowering this unit, but it's enough power for me. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.